Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So it's been a while. This is the first morning coffee of 2019. Um, it's a pretty special one, I'll say, because tomorrow is the one year anniversary of the start of Divine Conversations. It's a little bit surreal. Um, and I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. It's a little bittersweet <laughs> thinking about where I was on my journey this time last year compared to where I am on the journey right now are two very, very different spaces. Mentally, emotionally, even physically, because this time last year I was in a different room in my apartment and even that has changed, <laughs> which is interesting because I did at one point want to manifest a new place to live. And here I am in a different room in the same apartment. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is, I'm not sure. So, okay, so about morning coffee moving forward, I'm not sure how things are gonna work out. Um, you know, for a while, uh, Spirit did have me take this week break, um, you know, from last Monday, which was the 31st, so the last morning coffee of 2018 and now we're back to the first morning coffee of 2019 and I'm just not exactly sure how it's going to move forward. I want to continue to do it to make it a daily thing. Um, I'm just spirits not sure. Well, I'm not sure. I guess I have to decide um, but we're going to go forward and, with it and see how things work. All right so if there is an odd day here or there in which we don't have a daily message don't freak out. I'm still alive. I just probably need a break at that point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, so here we go. I'm just going to get into it. And like always, these are general messages. Okay. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not specific to anything. This is just what spirit would like to speak to, to speak with us about today. And yeah. Let's get straight to it, guys. Alrighty. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, January 7th. 2019. Oh my god, you guys, it's 2019. I'm so behind. I've been like... <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Okay, okay, sorry. January 7th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, all right, so back to my, my little thing. I'm like really behind. I've been, this whole week, I've just been in this hermit mode of literally not really spending too much time out. I've also been doing a little bit of an experiment to see how little money I can spend, <laughs> just to see. And I've come to notice that I spend a lot of money on food. <laughs> anyway, okay, January 7th, 2019. Mm. All right, guys, one more shuffle and then we see what we'll see what we have for you today. Okay, well, the Ace of Cups just caught my attention. This hermit mode that a lot of us are in right now is um, very much in service of filling our own Ace of Cups. Yesterday I did uh, in the Twin Flame reading, I was talking about um, the not quite apathetic yet not quite um excited energy I was like in the middle of and um, that's where a good amount of us are I mean it doesn't necessarily have to be quite like that but we a lot of us it just through the you know, the comments that I was reading a lot of us are in this hermit mode and spirit saying it's really not that bad of a thing okay 
as long as you are caring for yourself, you're not in this hermit mode and you know, wallowing in a bunch of self-pity or not not taking not caring for yourself, not nurturing yourself. Um, I do feel because I'm feeling this collectively, um, I do feel that many of us in this hermit stage are in fact dealing with a lot of shit. Whether that be purging, whether that be recuperating from just a marathon of crazy energies, whether that be healing. Um, there could be a lot of past circumstances that are coming up that were never dealt with that you're working on healing, and that takes a lot of energy. It also could be that we're just dealing with the downloads and the upgrades because there are a lot of shifts happening. I know within like the last two days, there have been moments where I've gotten some like pretty strong downloads, um, and you know, in the and I noticed that by my ears were ringing for like a split second or a few seconds, um, and those are downloads coming in. And so you may just feel really, really tired. You may be doing a lot of a lot of things. May be happening in the dream state in which you're waking up really, really tired. I mean, there's there's so many different things going on here. Um, but this is all in service of filling your Ace of Cups. So if you're feeling any sort of apathy or borderline apathy, um, not really wanting to do anything but just spend time on your own, that's okay. Honor that, okay? Get through that. Honor that, all right? Let's see what we've got. January 7th, 2019, y'all. I honestly, I feel like that's even like... The first time I really verbally acknowledge that it's 2019. That's how, <laughs> that's how much. All right, cool. Here we go. Underneath the deck is the Queen of Swords. All right, so that makes perfect sense. Adjust this light here. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting. The sun is out, and so uh, we're competing with lighting here. I wanted to get some of the sunlight in, but let me see. I might have to draw this blind oops just I just want to I just want to do this I know the sunlight is gorgeous but it's a lot like it's literally like the sun is literally all up in my window right now which is great I love it but it's not too conducive for filming <laughs> I usually do this much earlier but it's like I didn't start till quarter to nine today you don't need to know that anyway <laughs> queen of swords all right this is that not quite apathetic yet not quite enthusiastic energy there is a lot I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys there is a, <laughs> a shit ton says spirit of skepticism around us right now and it's not really our fault. It's not anything we can really blame anyone for, to be quite honest. I mean, if you want to place blame, you're just going to have to blame every human on the planet. Because we've all created this together. But that's not to say, oh, shame on all of us. We're getting what we deserve. No, We're, we've done this so that we can learn. Literally. And that is what life in physical form is. Oh, that's what existence is. Existence is all about learning and growth, whether that's in physical form or spiritual form, energetic form, however you want to classify it. It doesn't matter. It's all a learning experience, a chance for us to grow and heal and expand and become more than we were previously. Okay. But the Queen of Swords energy is very prominent right now. And this is for everyone, not just those of us that identify with the divine feminine energies, but, or more so with the feminine than the masculine. This is for everybody because the divine feminine is on the rise and there is an energy of extreme discernment. And it's so extreme because I think I might even want to, I'm going to try and remember to um, call that the name of this reading because it's what it feels like extreme discernment in the because of the fact that this should have been done a lot of this should have been done a long time ago 
and no one is saying to no one is asking you to blame yourself no one is saying that you you know made a huge mistake or anything like that no we were all just kind of going with the flow but now it's time to change things up there's literally no hiding from it anymore okay so there you go now with that said you have strength and this did fall out on its own now strength is talking about fortitude here okay this is I'm seeing for many of you, this is hunkering down and building your strength back up. This is why you may be in this hermit moment. Um, for others of you, you have found the strength to stand on your own and not give a lying fuck what anybody else has to say about that. Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups. Uh-oh, we've got the counterparts here. King of Swords, Justice, and the Three of Pentacles. So this is, wow, this really is a very strong discernment type of time. I mean, you have the King and the Queen of Swords here. So I actually, I actually want to put this here. I want the King of Swords to be next to the Queen of Swords because that is where most of this discerning energy is coming from. Strong discernment. Like, okay, you have both king, you have both the king and the queen after your ass right now. <laughs> because sure, you might get past the queen, but then you have to get past the king too. And if the queen is not on board, the likelihood of the king being on board is going to be slim to none. Now, I am seeing, I am seeing the king of swords being like an extra piece of um, fairness, I will say, because of the fact that the queen might have already made up her mind and is the type of energy that once she's made up her mind she has no intentions of going back but that could that's not always beneficial sometimes it does and this is weird to say but it's like it sometimes it does take another set of eyes to really get to, to the truth of it and i am kind of seeing in this instance i am seeing some a little bit of the queen's energy being wrapped up in what i guess you can say emotion but it's not even that it's the desire to not even deal with the bullshit so she's not even she's really just not even going to give it a chance to 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 present itself let alone take hold or try and even flourish you know what i mean so the king is that extra form of defense there which saying wait hold on a second let's let's hear this out but still, the chances are slim to none that it'll get passed. Does that make sense? All right. You have, uh, and uh, but then also, before I go any further, strength is the combination of the two of them. I mean, there's there's seriously some there's some serious balance here. That what that. Um, mental balance discernment i mean it's more than it, 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 it this goes deeper than just what you may be dealing with on like maybe an emotional level or an interpersonal level this is like this is like seeing the whole world differently seeing existence differently this is that part of the awakening process in which the ego finally has no choice but to sit down. And that could be where the apathy comes in. I think many of you are starting to realize that a lot of the back and forth, the extreme emotion that you may have been feeling was really just a product of the ego. And the more you come into balance with masculine and feminine energy, the less space that ego has to take hold. And so it literally is forced into the background. So that could be why, you know, many of us fought this balance between masculine and feminine energy the, the, within because the ego was going to lose out 
on space to flourish and so it thought and you we weren't really aware of it until we really started the look the the inner work to heal and once we started healing that's when the lines the 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 the, the um the lines or the barriers started to become more into focus and the, the, you know, the, and so then the energy started to balance out. Masculine started to become one with feminine. Feminine started to become one with masculine and it began to flourish and take up more of your space, more of its rightful space. And now the ego is kind of like being put at bay. Taming, taming the beast, y'all. Okay, light worker energy, Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords. Um, many are you okay? Uh, Seven of Swords, but then also the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Okay, um, and the Queen of Cups is talking about this hermit mode that we've been in. But like I said in the past, this hermit mode is in service of our higher good even though it may not necessarily look like that right now and for some of you that are saying it doesn't look like that how could how could me being how could me staying in not really associating with anyone not wanting to get out of bed whatever how could that be in service of my light working mission well first and foremost the first thing you want you need to get a firm under a hold of is the fact that you just being here in this physical body is serving your mission. Why? Because you are bringing energy to the surrounding area. And that energy can be directed by your mind. So you literally could sit in bed and meditate and just envision yourself spreading golden light all over the place. You really could. And that's what this combination of cards here, Knight of Wands, Light Worker, Seven of Swords, Incognito, Behind the Scenes, Hidden, Queen of Cups, Emotionally Understanding, Emotionally Powerful, Intuitively Powerful, but keeps to herself. That's how many of us are dealing with this light working mission right now. Okay? And this is even more proof that justice is being brought to you because you have the three of pentacles finally with justice three of pentacles is talking about entrepreneurship yes but it's also talking about self-mastery i see an effort towards self-mastery in this card and that is what's happening right here right now not only are we working together as light workers, as star seeds, twin flames, whatever the hell you want to classify it as. Not only are we working together, but we are working on ourselves. We all feel a lot stronger, don't we? Lately, even though we have been in this period of keeping to ourselves, not really wanting to do anything, kind of feeling a little bit tired, yes. But that's because of all these upgrades we've gone through. And we're much more confident to say, listen, screw you. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not doing shit. I'm staying right here. And it doesn't even have to be a mean thing like that. It's like, look, I, I told you, or look, I just don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> Spirit is saying right now that keeping to ourselves is imperative at the moment because there's a lot of chaotic energy going on. A lot of people are losing their shit right now. And it's actually, it's only going to get worse. And I don't mean to incite panic. I don't mean to worry anybody, but we all know this. We can feel it coming. Things are breaking down. I mean, think about what you went through when your world started to crumble around you. It's about to start happening on a mass scale. This year is going to be the start of it. So hunker down, y'all. Get ready. Because a lot of things are about to start changing over the course of this year. 
And um, if you want to look at it that way, it's not going to happen all that quickly because, again, like I said, it is over the course of this year. Um, but it's going to start ramping up. There are more and more energy waves that are going to be coming through that are going to be changing things and they're only going to get stronger and more frequent. We're going to get into some clarification now. I want to clarify strength first. Yeah, we're going to clarify strength first. Alrighty. I want one more. Sorry, guys. Give me a second here. So there's a butterfly. There are a few butterflies. A couple. Yeah, I'm seeing two butterflies. Yep. Two butterflies on the strength card. And that is, really is talking about the transformation that happens when you do finally reach a certain level of taming the beast. All right, one more shuffle. All right. Okay, here we go. Clarify strength, please, spirit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good Lord. <laughs> Good Lord. That sure is a lot. But it always is. So we have a few cards that make perfect sense here. You have the Six of Wands, as you can see. You've got the Ten of Swords. You've got the Sun. Look at that. You also have the Ace of Cups, which flipped over in the deck. Underneath the deck, you have... Wow. Ten of Cups. Wow, guys. You know, it's so crazy. Um, I've been going through this period where I, uh, many of you probably remember um, back during like the very beginning of the holiday season, I was in this energy of wanting to have a family again. And what's coming through right now with this Ten of Cups clarifying strength with all of this the ten of swords the six of wands the ace of cups the sun just so far justice here okay this is just what we are looking at so far oh and the page of wands excuse me all of us well we have an opportunity in in taming the ego we have an opportunity to understand that this ten of cups Oh God, what's underneath that? <laughs> the Eight of Wands. The Ten of Cups is within, first and foremost. This is, look at this, look at it this way. Especially if you watch the Twin Flame reading from yesterday. Masculine, feminine, inner child, all in balance. That is the ultimate Ten of Cups. That is the first family. Don't you think? Your first family your inner masculine, your inner feminine, and your inner child. Mother, father, son, <laughs> father. <laughs> Mother, father, son or daughter. San, son and or daughter, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's all right there, within. And when we come to this point of taming the ego, we finally have a chance to understand that. We finally have the silence within, the stillness within to see all of that. So there is a victory that has been claimed here. Ten of Swords is the ending of the crisis. The crisis being the ego battle. Because with the ego, you could never really win, could you? There was always something more. More that it wanted, more that it needed, more that it needed to see or learn or experience. Well, okay, experience doesn't necessarily fit in that because we're all constantly wanting to experience more. That is how our soul expands. But you get what I'm saying. There was, there, was like, there was never any winning with the ego, right? But now that that's over, or now that that's coming into the process of ending, for many of you, it's ended already. 
and it's in the process of completing now. But for some of you, it's already completed. Regardless of where you stand on that, there's a victory here with the Six of Wands. And now the Six of Wands does talk about the ego again, right? This can be egoic energies, but this is the ego working in harmony with the rest of the self, okay? Ace of Cups, self-love, divine love. This is a victory. This is finding wholeness and, and stillness and oneness within the self. And being focused on not only filling your own cup, but maintaining that, the sun. Beautiful. Everything's coming together exactly as it should. Illumination, happiness, giddiness, innocence, back to that inner sense of the inner child. Justice. Twice here. Justice through the self-mastery. Three of Pentacles. Justice. And I really feel like many of you feel like justice has finally been served for you in some way. Doesn't mean there isn't more to come, but in some way justice has been served. And now you have the Page of Wands, which is the inspiration. It, 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 I don't think this Page of Wands energy has quite hit just yet, but it's coming. The inspiration is there. It will be there as soon as you're ready to act on it, okay? Now there's more that has come out and I kind of feel like it has to do with the rest of the reading here. Wow. Okay, you have, I'm gonna put it down here. You have temperance, you have the two of wands in reverse, the five of pentacles and the star. Yes, so this is why I wanted to put this down on this row here because this is actually clarifying these energies of the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. The light worker energy happening in the background and keeping to oneself. This hermit mode, this shell, in your shell situation. Temperance is the balance of masculine and feminine. It is the alchemy, bringing the sides of yourself together in order to find a new whole, a new completion, okay? A new sense of self, even. You have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is in reverse. This is... This is not needing to choose anymore, is what I'm getting. Giving up the fight not allowing yourself to be a choice. Why do I say that? Because you have the five of, one, of, of pentacles, excuse me, the five of pentacles right after that. There's, there's a lot of energy right here, right now. I feel like this is where most of us are at the moment because if you notice, every time I put these cards down, they spin like crazy. So this is where we are. That's what that's saying to me. This is where we are. We're not a choice. We're not an option. And we're not going to continue to allow ourselves to be an option so that we are left out in the cold. We have the opportunity to be left out in the cold. Absolutely not. If you want something from me, if you want a relationship with me, is what Spirit is saying, then you will choose me. But I'm not an option. And I'm not going to put myself in a position to be chosen, to have someone else be chosen over me. Absolutely not. I'm not going to allow someone to make me feel less than, unworthy. I'm not going to allow anyone to leave me out in the cold. Why? Because I am going to take myself in from out of the cold. And I'm going to love and nurture myself. I'm going to choose myself. And I'm not going to play this game of who can win what. It's not even about that. 
And finally, because of that, you have the star. You have healing, you have wish fulfillment. How, you say, can we have wish fulfillment here? You're fulfilling your own wishes. You are filling your own cup here, Ace of Cups. You're not requiring anyone else to fill it for you. And this is why you are not a choice, why you don't need to be a choice for anyone else. Because you have filled your own cup. I'm gonna clarify justice and the three of pentacles here, please spirit. Nine of pentacles, look at that. There is some, yeah, we're gonna leave it right there. There, uh, wow. Underneath the deck is the five of cups, but this is not your energy. These are the people around you that you have said no to. What's underneath the five of cups? <laughs> the nine of cups. Um, the nine of pentacles is talking about rewards for work well done, autonomy and abundance and bachelor, bachelorette, sure, but this is someone that stands on their own, doesn't really need anyone else. They, they, are, they have what they need and they're very happy with it. They're proud of it. They've worked really hard for it. This is the place you want to be in, guys. And I, if you want to be in a, re a real relationship, and yeah, okay, so many of you, you're going to sit there and say, well, you're not in a relationship. No, I'm not. Why am I not in a relationship? Because I don't need one. I'm spending this time with myself, healing myself, working on myself, cleaning up from the inside out. And I've come to realize that I don't need anyone else. Do I want companionship? Yeah, of course, we all do. We're social beings, we're human. But we don't need. We are whole in and of ourselves. Now, you can start to split hairs here and say, well, we're social creatures. We need to associate with someone every once in a while. Well, yes, you do. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about full 100% autonomy, being true to who you are, knowing who you are, knowing what you're capable of, knowing what you want in life, and not being afraid to go after it, not being afraid to take action, not being afraid to, to do it, and not being afraid of what other people might have to say about you. Who cares? Their perception of you is on them, has nothing to do with you, has everything to do with them. And this is them, five of cups. Regret, remorse, damn, I never should have let you go. Damn, I never should have treated you that way. Yeah, well, I guess, but it happened. And we learned from it, right? I mean, I know I did, did you? It's a rhetorical question. <laughs> Underneath this five of cups though is the nine of cups. Spirit really wanted me to say that. Um, the nine of cups is again, more wish fulfillment. Ultimately, everything will turn out to be okay. Because in the end, this teaches us what we need to know so that we can fulfill our own wishes and desires, right? All right, let's get some. You know what? I'm just going to close the reading today with the Lightworker Oracle. That seems to be a much better fit right now. Here we go. Best message, please. Closing message, spirit, for today, January 7th, 2019. Uh, 
closing message, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Woo! There we go. Oh, yes, guys. Yes, hunty. Can I get an amen? We've got card number five. Karmic clearing. Hmm. You know, this, what I was, what I was saying here with the nine of pentacles about how we don't need anyone else. That's like ringing in my head right now. That's where a lot of us are. And it's really not even about an elitism or selfishness or anything. It's just, we're, we're finally starting to learn and feel what true autonomy feels like, what true balance of masculine and feminine feels like within. And this is not even something that I'm saying that just to blow smoke up my own ass. No, this is coming out in the readings. I mean, look, guys, I mean, look at the last two, just the last two uh, um, uh, twin flame readings that I've done. Last, uh, this past weekend, so yesterday, Sunday, December, I'm sorry, January 6th, and then um, Sunday, December 30th. Those two readings alone were me talking about the, the, the balance between masculine and feminine and that coming through. And here we have it again, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. So it's through this balance that we're able to feel what true autonomy is. And that is giving us even more momentum to clear away the karma because the ego is getting pushed out of the way. Card number five, karmic clearing. You are fast outgrowing a level of consciousness to which are attached particular wounds, issues, and struggles. As you outgrow that consciousness, these issues will release their grip on you. You are receiving divine notice that karmic clearing is taking place through a combination of your own efforts and spiritual grace from the heart of the divine. It is time for an old wound to be released once and for all. I'm going to leave it there. So there we have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to open the blinds now. But thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday. There's the sun, y'all. I hope you all have a really fantastic Monday. And um, stay tuned. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen with morning coffee moving forward. I'm probably going to do one tomorrow. We'll see. But either way, I hope you guys have a great day. And I love you so much. And I will be looking to do a happy hour this evening, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah? So stay tuned. I'll post something about it later. Okay. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.